The next slide is entitled Periappendiceal Abscess. And similar to the last appendix we saw, I think you could make out the fact that here is the lumen and there's a lot of lymphoid tissue in the mucosa and submucosa. I think you can also recognize the fact that along here is the remnant of what was once a muscular wall. And I think you could uh, recognize the fact that there's a lot of washed out adipose spaces in the surrounding tissue here, 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 and all along here as well. And this represents fat. The one thing you probably cannot recognize too well from this picture is the fact that there doesn't seem to be too many uh, mucosal glands. The epithelium is largely destroyed or ulcerated by the inflammatory process. Perhaps if we uh, zoomed in here we might find some remnants of it, but I am not too sure. This could probably rec represent just junk. What we have here is entirely 100% neutrophils and fibrin. And when you get out to the uh, submucosa, we can see the uh, prominent loose connective tissue and blood vessels. And I think you could recognize the fact that the muscularis still has some remnants of smooth muscle, but uh, it is no longer a case of some neutrophils infiltrating smooth muscle fibers. In this case, uh, largely the integrity of the uh, muscularis is gone and there's a lot more neutrophils here than there are smooth muscle fibers. Here you can see some remnants of smooth muscle, uh, but for the most part the muscular layer is gone and for this reason there is a significant amount of this acute inflammatory destructive process extending through the serosa and into the surrounding fat. And in addition, there is a fairly uh, localized collection of these neutrophils uh, within the fat, a so-called periappendiceal abscess. And I think you will agree, here is a large lymphoid follicle here, but I think if you will agree that if you j basically look at the majority of this stuff here, it's nothing more than uh, acute inflammatory cells and fibrin. And I think you could agree that when you look at these cells at first, they may look like they have uh, ra relatively round nuclei, but when you look at them closer, closer, almost every one of them has a fairly lobulated appearance, and therefore they are neutrophils. So this is a periappendiceal abscess.